In Bullock County, not 24 hours after the last rain, crews are already out trying to get things back to normal. WSAV's Eden Hodges is there for us, asking officials how long things could take. The sun is out, meaning it, for many of us, it's like the light at the end of the tunnel, except for county workers who, whose work is just now beginning as they work to pick up the pieces after the storm. Our motto is we're the first ones in and the last ones out. Public Works Director Dink Butler tells me he's only had a few hours of sleep over a couple days. With a list of over 70 road closures, they still have work to do. A certain amount of the work, we, we're going to have to wait on the water to recede before we can even uh, address some of the major washouts or road closures. Uh, and some of the paved road closures may take an extended period to get repaired. The state bringing in National Guardsmen to help clean up the wreckage. Lots of, lots of locals just, you know, will come out and talk to us, you know, thank you for your service and all that good stuff. Neighborhoods near rivers and lakes still flooded. Butler tells me the goal is to get enough connecting roads back online in the next two weeks so that EMS can get to people in case of an emergency. Many bridges across the county are closed, now waiting on state evaluations to make sure they're structurally sound. He says it could be two to three months before our roads are back to what they were before Debbie came through. Butler tells me there's 20 crews out today just assessing damage. Mostly they've been able to open just a few roads. He says most of these roads are going to need extensive repair. In Bullock County, I'm Eden Hodges, WSAV News 3 on your side. Eden, thank you.